Hey there, it's Katie. So today I am filming a plan with me for the week of February 20th using this really pretty pink and gray kit from the Sweet Planner. I'll just kind of flip through it really quick. I actually just filmed the haul in which I showed this. So that'll probably be up, um, I hope, before this video goes up. But we'll see. Very pretty. The Sweet Planner is a Canadian shop. Very, very, very pretty kit. So I'm going to go off camera and put in all of the headings and probably the checklist as well while I'm at it. And then I'll come back on camera to continue. So all of those headers are now in and I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to pull in some... I think I'm going to pull in some date covers. I will use these beautiful silver foiled um, date covers from Rose Colored Days. I think that'll go really nicely with kind of the overall gray look of the kit. I like that it looks a lot, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep going. I think I'll go ahead and do maybe the full boxes now. So I will be saving this one up here for the top corner. Okay, so with all of those full boxes in, I am going to go ahead and put in the bottom washi. Um, so that piece of washi did come a little bit short, but that's okay because I have this, which is actually from uh, Piper Paper Company. And I figured I would just pull in this little robe here and cover up those lines like that. Very cute. I think that works out perfectly. So now I am going to go ahead and do the sidebar. And I had a lot of trouble getting my camera to zoom the proper amount today. It's a digital zoom, not a manual one. So, um... So I just had trouble getting the frame right today, so I'm going to have to check it. I don't if I apologize if I've been out of frame a little bit at the top, but whatever. It's not too bad. There we go. Unfortunately, this camera does not have, as I said, it doesn't have manual zoom and it doesn't have a flip down screen. So I'm not currently in the position to be purchasing another one for what is essentially a hobby. At some point I would like to, but not yet. So anyway. Sidebar. So this kit has a couple of little um, sidebar headers there, but they only ha it only has to go and to clean. So what will I do? I might just use a couple of these little 
maybe these little um, labels here to make my own headers. I'm not sure. I might just skip headers and just use um, washi strips. So let's see. I like that all of her washi strips are the same size. That works out really well for me. And I'm going to line this up like right under the little pink part that's peeking through there. And then I will do the two habit trackers. And then another washi strip. This is just the tiniest little bit miscut, by the way. It's a little tiny, like, hair of white paper at the top. No big deal, just thought I'd mention it. And let's see. I guess I'll do one more strip. And I'll pop in one of these um, little mini checklists. And I will go ahead and pull it up deco piece so that it's above those pieces of those stickers there. I don't really feel like I need headers because I kind of know what those sections are of the sidebar anyway. So that works out pretty well. So now I will go ahead and get started going day by day. I think first thing I will do is pull out some Clever Gal craft stickers. Since this kit only comes with a few labels, I think I might be able to make use of the Clever Gal crafts hearts. Sort of a Jacenia, the Planner Sophisticate style, and kind of use those as a way to... Sorry, I'm like looking through things while I'm talking, um, to mark things off without having labels necessarily. So I also actually just realized I have these Planning World icons in the grayscale with silver foil colorway, which works out really well because that goes perfectly with the colors in this kit. So to go with this spread, I just pulled out these Valentine's color palette stickers from Clever Gal Crafts. The pink is a little bit cooler and almost like more of a purpley-ish blue. Uh, I mean pink, but um, it goes well enough. And that same color palette, these little Valentine's icons, very very cute. I'm not sure this really works, but just in case, I do have these hot pink silver icons. I seem to not have very many pink icons with, um, with silver foil. And then these silver foil flags. I think that pink goes pretty well, as does the gray right there. And I apologize, if it, I apologize if it's looking a little bit dark all of a sudden. Um, the sky is kind of overcast. And it's also getting to be the early evening, so it's like 4.30. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get started kind of going day by day. So I really don't have much of a sense of what's going on. It is currently the Wednesday, Wednesday the 15th, so a full week before, I mean not a full week. It's like, it's the middle of the week before, so I don't have a lot of specific plans. So essentially what I'm doing is sort of pre-planning in terms of setting out the structure of the spread. And then um, I'll go through later and fill things out. So essentially what I'm doing now is just kind of doing the infrastructure. I think I kind of just repeated myself, but whatever. So I have these, and then I also have the 
half boxes, and the little things that come with the kit. Monday is President's Day, so I think I'm going to pull in, hmm, I think I'll use one of these, maybe the asterisk in the light gray. I'm going to use that to mark that as President's Day. My husband does have work off that day. And then beneath that, hmm. I think I'll save this for another day. I'll pull in a half box. I like how many of these come with the kit. There are 10, which is great. I think I'll use this little pink one with the little heart in the corner. This paper is very easy to work with. It's very much a matte removable. So it doesn't have the nicest like feel to it, but it's very, very easy to work with. And then I'll use, um, I'll put in one of these little TV little things underneath there. I believe Jane the Virgin is on that night. Um, if it's not, I'm sure my husband and I will watch something else on TV, so whatever. I'll just leave that there. So then, Tuesday. Again, I'm not totally sure what's going to be going on. I think I'll probably be filming my Kate Spade plan with me that day because I'm not going to have time to do it today. This is already getting dark, so let's see. Maybe I can use the pink camera for that. That works out pretty well. And then I will pull in another, um, another half box, maybe Maybe the pink one with the little sleeping mask. Or no, I think I want to use the one with the donuts on it. I'm also going to pull in these Fox and Pip stickers, these put a bow on it stickers, which are very, very cute and definitely go nicely with this kit. And then I have the pink scale and gray scale um, bow clip boxes. So I think maybe I'll pull in one of these black, is it black or just very dark gray, um, bow clip boxes to use up here. They're just such a clever little sticker and I, I think that's such a good one. It's a good one to use. So then on to Wednesday. Again, I don't know what these boxes are going to be for, I'm just kind of laying out the infrastructure. Because I pretty much know how I like to use my planner every week. So it's not like, I'm, I'm not wasting anything, it's not a risk like that at all for me. I pretty much do the same thing in terms of like the structure every week. I just like to kind of experiment with it and make little changes. So I'm going to put in one of these little flags right there. One of the clever gal crafts. I think she calls them um, foil confetti flags or something like that. I'm not sure, but I love that. So then I'll pull in one of my custom Fox and Pip Reader Girl stickers. I use one of these in nearly every single spread. Very, very cute. And then to go with that, I'll put in one of these plain gray, or maybe not. I don't know about that. I think I'll use a half box above that. I might have to pull the sticker up a little bit to put it in, but that's fine. So I think maybe just the, I think I'll do this one here, the pink one with the, I don't want to block that out. Sorry, I'm a little bit all over the place. 
I think I'll just use then the plain gray zigzag like that. I think that's cute. I just clipped my fingernails, of course, so I'm having trouble picking anything up. It's not quite perfect, but I'll just fix that later. I don't feel like doing it right now. Um, and then I'll leave that space blank up there for right now. I'm sure I can add something in later. So then on to the other half of the week. I will use this little half box right here. Along with, I think, one of these icons. I'm not sure which one I want to use. Um, maybe one of the darker gray. And the car, maybe? Or... Maybe I'll use the little exclamation point. Very nice. I like all the silver, the silver shiny that I've got going on here. It's a lot of fun. So then, onto Friday. I, again, I really don't know what's going on these days. I apologize that makes this kind of boring. Um, I'm probably speeding through a lot of stuff because I'm not feeling super on top of things right now. I don't know why. I hope you don't mind too much. I apologize. So I'll put one of those bow clip boxes down here on Friday. And I'll put in one of these cute Fox and Pip Me Time stickers with the girl in the bathtub. I'm going to put in the weekend banner. I sort of like putting these down here in the full boxes. I like the way that looks. And then, you've probably noticed if you've watched my plan with things before that on the weekend I tend to get kind of, uh, I kind of just go back and forth between those couple of days. Um, so I'm going to put in one of these pink flags up here on Sunday. And I'm sure I'll layer a Fox and Pip sticker over that in a minute. Um, in fact, I think I'll just go ahead and put one of my couple of customs. I'm going to these like crazy. Put those right there. My husband and I always spend all day Sunday together and pretty much all day Saturday too and pretty much all of our free time, period. <laughs> um, I think for Saturday, I'll put in one of the maybe lighter gray bow clip boxes right up here. Or maybe not. I think, no, I think I'm gonna, if I can get that back on there. Which I could, thankfully. I'll put one of the bow clips with the big pink bow. here and just write in whatever is going on beside that and then I do have several more half boxes to use I think I'll put these slippers here I don't know why I'm having a little bit of trouble getting these aligned properly I think I'll just use the plain pink one over on Sunday. I don't know what's up with this. The corner is like really bent and the paper here is like cut through. I don't know what the deal is with that. Not seen that before from other shops. Okay, so I did that. I'm tempted to put one of these little bows on here as well. 
like there. That looks really cute. Um, what else can I do? You've probably noticed that I don't really actually like these little labels. They're just too small for me, but I will put one here because I do want to make sure I have space to write something in there. Um, I don't mind writing directly on the paper, but I do kind of like the look of having different lines breaking stuff up there. And I think maybe on Friday I'll put one of these gray boxes, I mean uh, flags, over on this side. I think I'll use one of that with one of these com uh, these channel surfing girls, in part just because she goes so perfectly with the kit, the color scheme of the kit. I think this looks just so so cute. And then finally, for Saturday. Maybe I will use another one of these little pink foil icons here. Um, I'm not sure what. Maybe I'll, I'll think I'll put this little dinner plate one in. Like that. So yeah, since I don't really know specifically what's going on any of these days, I don't want to fill, fill this in, really. But I'll go ahead and give a final full look at it. I love the way that this came out. I think all the silver foil is just so pretty and I really love the gray, the simple, the, the simplicity of the gray and pink. Uh, I did mention in the haul um, with this kit that there were a couple of pickups and shipping but just based on how gorgeous this kit is and how nice she was to me in terms of customer service, um, I would definitely give her another shot because it's just so nice and it's so daintily designed and everything. Really, really well done. So I hope you enjoyed watching this and I'll chat with you in the next video. Bye.